Hey everybody, what's up? We are back. John Della Rose here, the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction. It's been a while since I did a comics writer pro secret, and I want to talk to you today about a certain pacing element in comics, which is splash pages. Now, splash pages are full art pages used to make it a dramatic effect or to put the credits page and, and have a nice scene painted at the beginning of a book or something like that. And they got really popular being used in the 90s. And what happened was artists started to overuse them. And they overused them because a splash page is a lot easier to draw and a lot faster to draw than a, pan a page with 9, 10, 11, 12 panels. I've been reading a lot of Steve Ditko work lately, and Steve Ditko had pinups as he, uh, in between stories or story headers, basically, which were basically splash pages, at the front of all of his short stories. But in the story itself, to keep the narrative flow going, he always had a lot of panels per page and a lot of drawings per page. It takes more work to do that because you have to draw more figures, which means more detail, which means more work. And artists figured out that if they were behind schedule, they could just do more splash pages and get the comic out faster. And so that's what happened. I wanna show you an example real quick. This is Superman 75, The Death of Superman, and this entire book was done in splash pages. You have a splash of Doomsday fighting Superman. You have a splash of Superman fighting Doomsday. And so on and so on throughout this entire book. This entire issue was done in full splash pages. And since, you know, you hadn't really seen that before, that was very that was something very interesting that, to be done. And it made a poignant point because that was going to be the death of Superman. Of course, like comics always do, that wasn't the actual final death of Superman. So it, when you read it again these days, it kind of loses its value and you sit there and you go, hmm, I wish I wasn't reading a full comic of just plain splash pages because it just is like reading 22 pinups in 22 pages. It doesn't really work well to make sure that the reader gets a story that is worth their dollar amount. And so as a writer, I wanna make sure that people use splash pages effectively. You should use a splash page in basically two situations. As I mentioned, as a like sort of credits page scene setting header where people know what they're going into. It, the early Marvel books did this a lot. You know, you'd have Stan Lee announcing what was gonna happen in the issue, and then we'd turn the page and we'd go into what was exactly gonna go on. Uh, the Another one, a good way to use this, is when there's a major dramatic effect moment. Say your hero's about to die and, you know, finally thrusts and throws the dude off the building, and, you know, then you do the splash page where, where the the bad guy's falling off the building and that's the big climax for the issue. That's a great spot to use it. But you don't wanna overuse them because when you do that, you're really going to water down the amount of story that you put in a book. And that is a big common problem for comic books these days. I always talk a lot about decompression and decompression and splash page over usage is definitely something that goes hand in hand. I was reading a book a while back and I think it was like a 48, 50 page book and it had uh, a dozen plus splash pages in it. And so of course there wasn't much story to the issue. When I read this, I felt like I was ripped off because I just turned the page and pretty soon it was done and I didn't have a complete story in the book because comics these days don't actually have a beginning, middle and end a lot of the time. And it didn't feel good as a reader. So to provide a better experience, you wanna use them sparingly. You only use them in those big moments. It's like in prose writing, when you have your paragraphs and all that, and then you have a paragraph maybe that's like two or three words, and you just say, you know, and he died. You, you, you often put that as, as by itself to like make a poignant punch, but you don't wanna do that all the time. You gotta, you gotta vary the way that you're doing things. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a bunch of punches and punches and punches and punches. And so when that's happening over and over and over again, it loses all of its effect. The splash page loses its value, loses its impact in those situations. So that's about it. I, 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 splash pages are splash pages, uh, what they are, um, and they they often you know get used, uh, like I said, as a, a sort of lazy excuse for artists, but you can use them properly to great effect in the story, and I wanna make sure everybody does that. And if you have any questions, you can make sure to leave a comment down below, and I will do the, my best to answer you. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon, everybody, with another Comics Writer Pro Secrets. Catch you next time.